so valve lapping is done. Uh, I'm just going to start replacing uh, some of the the valve seals. Uh, excuse this really dodgy painting here. I'm going to going to get a Stanley knife and go through and scrape it off. I just tried dabbing it on with my finger just because I didn't want to tape anything off anymore and also I noticed that when the rocker cover goes on um, there's still a little bit of um, the cylinder head exposed so that's what that was, that was an attempt to keep everything black so yeah I'll just take one out here, yeah, I'm just going to be using a, a grabbing and a sort of like a, a twisting as I pull up and a little bit of uh, maneuvering from left to right and front to back. Okay, so I'm just gonna pliers on the outside, I'm gonna squeeze it tight and I'm gonna twist um, as I pull up and try to pull up straight so you don't scratch the inside of where that um, lifter goes. And that's it. Uh, once they're all out, oh, I got a bit of brake cleaner. You can either spray it on a rag or you can spray it in the actual uh, where the seal itself goes. I took a cloth and my finger and I just wiped the outside of where that where the valve um, seal will go. Just so there's nothing between the side of the the stem sort of thing and the inside of where your uh, seal is going to go just so it seals a lot better there'll probably still be little bits of rubber um, what I'm doing you probably get something long and sharp something long and sharp to sort of um, pick them off which I will do for one of them because I have to but um, I managed to get them off with just uh, some compressed air that was enough to get them off oh jeez um, okay so we got our new our new uh, and new seals that's pretty cool I'm just gonna get a socket I've got a 10 mil socket here and what I'm gonna do is put the uh, seal on the where it needs to go and that over it and then give it a little tap with a hammer make sure they're sitting on there relatively straight before you give them a tap and that's that's pretty good I'm just gonna line them all up in there now Jeez. I may have uh, backed myself a little bit too much with this. It might have been better to uh, lube them up a tad, even with just a bit of spit, which I think I might do. Hopefully that works. Now, um, I have the option to uh, put on 
the uh, the stiffer valve springs but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it seeing as how that this motor is just a complete experiment with um, things that I've learned on the internet so I don't think I'm going to but I could uh, but I'm just I just want things to run well first with this one so I tried this one out with everything stock and if uh, all goes well then I'll continue my build with the uh, forged internals and valve springs and all those other bits and pieces. Well, as you can see, it looks looks as if I've uh, torn apart three different engines as opposed to the two that I've been uh, working on normally. Um, yeah, I kind of lost, as I was uh, cleaning out the cylinder head, I lost a piece. Um, I've taken it out of the third engine already. Um, but it was just a little washer that goes goes in there just before the on t like the spring sits on top of it and um, yeah so I had to go out and buy a new engine I could have just bought a cylinder head but uh, weighing up the cost of uh, either buying a complete engine or a, a separate cylinder head it, it was just more cost effective to buy a complete engine and also I really wanted to uh, later on muck around with the, the whole Prius piston thing so I thought I'd, um, I'd, I'd still be in need of a, of a washer for the cylinder head, but I'll uh, cross that bridge when I get to it. I might even just end up using that cylinder head, that completed one, if it um, ever ends up, if I ever end up doing it or if it ever ends up working. Um, but yeah, that's the reason for that one. That's off an 04, another automatic. Uh, that was so much easier to get to that stage than anything else because I wasn't filming it. And um, also, I borrowed a mate's, uh, what do you call it, rattle gun, air powered rattle gun, and that made such light work of the crank, of the crank pulley and the uh, water pulley bolts, I didn't have to um, brace the flywheel at all or, or anything like that, or put a screwdriver in any weird places. Okay, so um, I might actually just turn this around, I probably should have started the video that way, but um, yeah, what I did, I cleaned off all the pieces that we'll need to go back in. Um, I've put my little washer in here. Um, now what I, I do first is I grab my, I think that's the retainer, I'm pretty sure. And I'll put the little collets in there, or maybe maybe they're called the retainers. I'm not sure, but um, I'll put them in there like that, and they don't fall out. And I'm just going to put it to the side for a second. Um, grab my valve spring, which I uh, I cleaned everything with a bit of degreaser, and I'll put it over the top. Uh, it should balance itself. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to get a rag, sort of stuff it up, and put it underneath that um, that combustion chamber, just so my um, valve doesn't uh, push down um, any further than it already is. So um, just so the, uh, the retainers or the collets or whatever grab grab on nicely. Now what I did, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much just grabbing a pair of pliers and pushing pushing and moving it um, to try and jiggle those little retainers on. Um, um, what I found some, like, what I knew it was going to happen, I didn't, I didn't find out due to, uh, due to failure, I, f I just uh, preempted uh, what was going to happen. Um, I was thinking if I was pushing down hard and then all of a sudden I, I split it open, it would just everything would fling out and these obviously they wouldn't be holding the top so everything would fling out but um yeah so what I did to uh, overcome that was I put a zip tie at the right um, I'd spread these to the right to, uh, to the right width and then I put a zip tie so they couldn't spread any further then I was worried about if I went in too far and then slid off somehow so I had an old pen like it was like a, a Nikko sort of marker I put it in there it's it, like I could crush it but it's it sort of adds a little bit of resistance to the, the pliers um, grabbing but uh, yeah so what I do now is I'm just gonna put my collets on there that's actually balancing all right now that I've got that um, that rag underneath there it sort of um, lifts up this this is the exhaust side so it lifts up the rear end of it a little bit to um, Obviously the, the valves are on, are on angles and it's just sort of lifted it up so it's 
this isn't going to tip. But um, yeah, so if you can see, I'm sort of just putting them on like that. This is going to be difficult because I can't really see over the top of this camera. But I'm just... Yeah, they sort of fell on quite nicely. Um, but that's all you need. Um, the gap I've been worried about, and I haven't asked any questions to any of my friends or even search the internet for an appropriate oh, response. That looks like a hole. I don't like the look of that. Um, yeah, where they grab, like the gap should probably be even instead of like. But um, I tried to get them as even as possible. Um, this one wasn't quite quite right that I just did. And what I did to the other ones that I found weren't quite right was I sort of just jiggled it around a little bit. Um, to it. That sort of made it worse, but. There we go, that's pretty good. So, um. Yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. That's all my valves in. Now, the next thing I've got to do is uh, do a check. I lapped all these valves, so they should be okay. But I just want to make sure that I didn't do anything um, really stupid. And um, I'm going to... I'm going to put a bit of water in all these and a block up block up the uh, spark plug hole obviously otherwise it'll just go straight through but um, then I'm going to blow some compressed air in through the intake and exhaust side and hopefully um, the pressure from the compressed air doesn't like I'll set it to something pretty low but hopefully it doesn't uh, allow water through where the seats are and if it doesn't then I've done it right or as right as yeah like it should be okay Okay, so that's some promising signs. Um, there's no air bubbles coming up through the valves, and there's no water leaking into any of the any of the uh, the uh, intake or exhaust runners. So 